So this question asks us to compare two different digitization regimes. So we're given a music signal, band limited to 15 kilohertz. So something that looks like that. And we have two digitization regimes. One that's sampling at 15 kilohertz with 16 bit ADC and the other at twice the sampling rate, but half the, um, the bit depth. So we need to explore how each of these two parameters affects the nature and quality of the digitized audio. So remember the Nyquist rate is twice the maximum frequency in the signal. So in this case, it'll be two times 15 K. So we need a minimum of 30 kilohertz if we want to capture the whole spectrum. So if we're only sampling at 15 kilohertz, then we're only capturing half the spectrum. We're literally capturing everything up to and not including 7.5 kilohertz. So we'll be capturing that and losing all this high frequency content. So because this is music, we call the high frequency content the treble and the low frequency content the bass. So we can put that in a neat little table. We can say, well, if the sample rate is 15K and if the sample rate is 32K, So, sample rate of 15k, we're actually losing all the treble. So we'll say loss of treble. Whereas if the sampling rate is twice that, 32k, then we'll have the full spectrum. Now, let me turn this into a table where we look at bit rate or bit depth. So here n equals 8 and here n equals 16. So now we're talking about the quantizer. So regardless of the bit depth, if we're sampling at 15k, we'll always lose the treble. And we'll always get the full spectrum if we're sampling at 32k. However, let me use a different color. If n equals 8, compared to n equals 16, it'll be a fewer number of levels. So the number of quantization levels will be fewer. It'll be 2 to the power 8, as opposed to 2 to the power 16. So therefore, the step size will be smaller. Sorry, stop step size will be greater. Delta will be greater. And therefore, the quantization error, delta over 2, will be greater as well. So we'll have a greater step size and a greater uh, quantization error. So that quantization error translates into quantization noise. So here, with m equals 8, we'll have more noise. Here we'll have less noise. And the same, even if we're sampling at 32K, it'll be noisier if we use 8-bit quantizer. And here it'll be less noisy. So less noisy, that's basically a higher quality. Clearer sound. So, ideally what we'd want is this box here. We would want both 
high sample rate and high um, uh, bit depth. So 16 bits per sample and 32 um, samples um, per second. That's what we'd want ideally. The choices in the question, however, um, don't include that. So what we're allowed to compare is um, this box here and this box here. So given the choice, would we lose the treble and get high quality data or get the full spectrum of audio but a little bit more noise? Now, it depends what we're after. So for music, for music, you wouldn't want to lose the treble. But at the same time, um, for uh, speech, you probably wouldn't be as interested in the treble. What you would want would be um, a higher quality or l uh, less noise. So the question says, describe the nature and quality of the audio. So you would say for... Um, For A, sampled at 15 kilohertz and quantized at 16 bits, would say we'd lose out on the treble, so we'd have the bass but not the treble, but would have a less noisy, higher quality signal than if we were to um, if we were to use B, 32 kilohertz and 8 bits, where it'd be a noisier signal but full spectrum would have all the audio, the all the spectrum, the bass and the treble. So that's how you would compare the two. As it happens. Um, the total bit rate is approximately the same because you're doubling one and halving the other. So if this was 16 rather than 15, then um, you'd have 16 times 16 or 32 times 8. The number of bits per second is uh, the same. So that's how you would, um, you would uh, compare the results of these different digitization regimes on audio system.